Pamperam. Pamperam. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. his toy. Get it up. Right in the chops. Right in the chops. Right in the chops. Right
Just destroy it. Take it easy. Shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Sorry, don't have time for this. Boy, you'll sprout on your foreskin. Hunger's turned this one pale. Greetings. Salutations! Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and... As have I, as do I. Take a peek if you don't mind.
Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Fuck's on a lot of you. Come on, Jens. Come on, quick. Fast as farts. Go at it. Eyes like a cat. Catch mice. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? Berries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear. A tea of mullen leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Prick. Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. No, designed to protect her. From what? 
Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries to... Beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Another clue. Goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Come on, let's go see the pillar. Should have guessed. Strawberries. Come on, damn it. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Where the hell did you go?
bear. Run, you stupid piece of shit. So how long are you gonna make me wait? <laughs> I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow. <laughs> You're no roach. I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Too. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is. And he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt me. Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. 
Twas the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the bot- Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Come on. Take it easy. Let's go. Slow now. Whoa. With the Baron like a new daughter, got a few I can spare. Lightning strike. Come on. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I...
with a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? What? Lost your nerve? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? Not a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last... Blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only... ...days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not, but that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost. What was I to do? 
took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happy. Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that. Do not kill my child. It suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up.